Hi guys, I'm back. Yes, a lot faster than you bargained for, but here I am. So, someone asked me, uh, a couple of people really asked me, how do you package your paintings? So, oops, there's a little paint here, I gotta get that off. That's why I have my gloves on, because I've been mixing paint. So, straight after this, we're doing a pour with PVA. So this is what I buy. This is how you buy them. See that? Not sure if you can see it because it's pretty big. It has one of those flippy things inside and here is the sticky thing. So what you do is you open up this piece like this. You open it up. You put in the painting like that. You put it in the middle. Then you fold it over one time, then you fold it over another time, just like that, and there you have it. See that? The painting is inside, and if you can see inside here, it has like five centimeters, uh, sort of a bumper, and on this side the same, it has about five centimeters. So. Whatever happens to it, this is like three times it's folded um, inside of this um, cardboard. So this is all you have to do. And this uh, fits through a mailbox and um, it's tight. Usually I do a little bit more of a sticky tape around it. Then when you get it, you just um, open it up here and you cut all the sticky tape. All you have to do is open it up like this and there's your painting but I do I do put paper around the painting so I package the painting put it in here close it fold it over once fold it over twice and then I stick it and you know it's this it, this doesn't take that much time this is okay to do you can buy these at any box shop they're called book book uh, covers something like that the uh, the time gets into you have to weigh everything you have to do a customs um, a form you have to fill everything in that's what takes so long some people um, forget to put their postal code on their address so I have to go find the postal code stuff like that that makes it take really long so um, but this is how I package I put the uh, address sticker here I put the return address on the back I, I leave a, a room here for the small uh, customs uh, sticker or the big one. Uh, when I send a, a larger painting, I have these in all sizes. So when I send a larger painting, I have to fill in a really big form. And these, I only have to fill in a little form. So uh, that's how I package my painting. So that didn't take long. It only took three minutes. Haha. <laughs> okay. What I have now is, oops, forgot to, um, forgot to prep the uh, canvas. Let me do that first. So um, I mixed up Royal Talons with PVA. And there is not any, um, there's no uh, silicone in there yet. So I'm gonna do that as we speak. There you go. And of course, it's a good, uh, good canvas. So we will just put them in the little push, push bins. I'm getting pretty good at putting push bins in. Getting them nice and straight. That was my thumb. That comes with bragging about how good you're at something. Then you just hit your thumb. There you go. That's it. And now for the paint. I'm going to do four colors. Because that's what I'm going to do with the Windsor and Newton. Straight after this one. And I'm going to choose the this one. The um, treadmill lubricant. 100% uh, silicone. So we're going to do that, a little bit in there, a little bit, a little bit, 
not more than that. Putting it aside. And I'm going to stir it in just a little bit. And I am thinking of putting in the other silicone too, the spray, because I, I, have, I have done that from time to time. Oh, and I'll show you, of course, uh, which PVA this is, because I'll get a lot of questions. This is the uh, PVA I use. It's from Call All. And I'll read the English um, uh, description. Uh, Multi-purpose white PVAC glue. This strong glue is transparent when dry and remains flexible. Moisture proof, solvent free. And then they, they tell you how to glue stuff, like we don't know how to glue stuff together, but okay. Um, also suitable for making scrapbooks, preparing canvases, and as a binding agent for paints. See, that's the important bit. It's a binding agent for paints. So it's not an extender, it's a binder. Uh, store in a cool and frost-free location. And see you. Bye bye. Yeah, you yeah, would I, uh, that was Dickie's brother uh, who said bye bye. He d he doesn't have a clue I'm uh, I'm videoing. Just leave it. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. I will <laughs> I will uh, I will give him the link to the video later. Um, so what it is? It's uh, acid free and it uh, stays uh, flexible. It's transparent and it's a binder, so that's good. And if you want to look for some in your own country, it's PVAC. I don't know what the C stands for. I went over that a couple of times and I googled for it, but I had no clue what the C stands for. But it's good stuff. Maybe cellulose or something like that, I don't know. Who cares, as long as it works. Oh yeah, I was going to put some spray in here also. Where's my spray? I have been thinking is because I lost my little, you know, um, with the yellow one, I had that little red thing on there, that little red rod, and it sort of um, made the uh, silicone come out differently. Like, if I do it now, let's do it in the big cup. If I do it like that, I see a lot of, I do see a lot of silicone popping out. So I'm not sure if, if, if maybe I'm putting in too much. With a little rod, it was more, I don't know, it came out more as dr little drops. But let's just do it like that. Okay. We're going to start with the white. Then come in with the beautiful turquoise. And already we are seeing a little cell action. Now we're going to come in with the brown. And the green. I left out the orange this time, or the yellow, I don't know, can't remember. But these are the four colors we're going to do, and we're going to do this with the Windsor and Newton too. And I want some more brown, because I really like that brown. There we go. So we have two opaque colors, that's the uh, turquoise green and the titanium white. And we have two transparent ones, that's the yellowish green and the Van Dyke brown. Now we're going to put it on top of here. Here comes the pour. I'm going to let it come out of the cup like this. See, in the beginning, what I used to do, um, I just picked up the cup and it all dripped in the middle. Well, th that, that I don't do that anymore because it ruined... Um, it pretty much ruined the uh, the really beautiful uh, like you're seeing now this beautiful <laughs> the beautiful um, swirls of color. I think I might want to torch it because that's what I usually did. Right now I torch it. Mm. 
Now I'm torching from up high, pretty high. You can't see this on the uh, video, but you know when I do it like this, I can put my hand under it and it's it's just not warm. Well, a tiny bit. But I would say something like when you're washing your hands with, with hot water. So th this is how far I'm, I'm holding up the uh, torch. But I can tell you guys, this is amazing. This is going to be an amazing pour. Look at that. We have, we're back in business. Look. We are back in business. We are back in business. <laughs> And then it has to be the pouring medium. I started with that pouring medium, you know, when I started with the Windsor and Newton. It's got to be that. Now let's see if it breaks up. We gotta see what happens. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna help it over here a little bit. Not too much because we want to keep the brown. Look at those cells. Oh, they're, they're breaking up over here, but this is staying nicely intact, and I like that. I don't mind a little little bit like this. This gives it a, a different dimension. And usually I do it a little, little, little bit slower. But I'm going to let it come down here. Okay, dokie, that's all you're going to get. Look at those cells. Okay, people. Liquitex did a number on us. Yep. That's got to be it. Because look there, you see all those beautiful cells. And now you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do the same thing, same brand. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put Floetrol in. So I'm going to do the PVA with the Floetrol. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Haven't done that before. Wow, this one is amazing. I really like it. I'm covering up all the canvas. And swiping the bottom. Just like that. Another swipe, cleaning off the, uh, these are amazing, these are beautiful. Love this, looks like some sort of a stuff growing in the pond, yeah. And I bet it will work a little bit more, I'm pretty sure. Let me get you down from there. There we go. Look at those cells. This one is really good. I like it. I even like that upper corner in the here where they sort of went jaggedy. But just like someone said, you know, it gives some different dimension to the whole piece and I, I sort of agree. So the cells are stunning. I like it. I do see a little here and there a little air bubble, so I gotta fix that. Wait, I gotta put you guys up there again. There we go. I'll just have to do because I don't want any of those pinholes in there. Not too many. And I'll check it later on. If they see any more, then I'll just give it another. Uh, quick torch. Okay, I'm going to put this one on my workbench. And I am going to do something else. I will be putting on gloves for that. I want to do a couple of small ones. 
because then I can really see the potential. You know, a while back I did one, it just sold recently. Uh, it had so many beautiful, beautiful cells in them, but it was where the uh, turquoise was mixed with the, uh, the Van, Van Dyke Brown. So I'm gonna try that out right now. There's still some in here. So I'm gonna add the rest of the Van Dyke Brown. Here we go. Give it, oops, give it a little swirl. And see what happens. This paint is going, <clears throat> I eventually uh, listened to you guys because you said, you know, get a uh, another canvas and put it underneath. But I can't do that because then it, it gets all too high and then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is uh, after I stop the video, I put it on a real big canvas and I'm going to do that in a bit. I'm shaking off the excess. There we go. Look at that. Look at those cells. They're the same cells I used to get. I'll give you a close up. So there's something going on with the pouring medium. If you would like to get in focus anytime soon, please. There you go. Look at those cells. They are the ones I used to get. See that? See, down here, that's where I'm putting the uh, leftover paint. I even got cells, look at that. Looking pretty cool. Okay, gotta get you back up because I just thought about something else I wanted to try out. Um, what was that one I wanted to do? I'll put that one up there to dry. There was something else I wanted to do. Oh, now I forgot. Oh yeah, flow troll, flow troll. That's it. Okay, let me get the flow troll. So always shake it, like I uh, always tell you guys, don't forget to shake it, because otherwise it's not going to be very pretty. Let's put it in the white. So little flow troll. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. And we're going to put it in the green. Just a little bit. Oh, too bad I don't have any brown left, but... Oh, and no turquoise. Well, we'll just put this in. In the green. And give it one small swirl, like that. Go over the sides. Not enough. There we go. Ooh, very pretty. That's pretty. I do want to give the sides all their coating because I'm going to put this up on a cup and let it dry. There we go. Maybe I, I can make them 
look a little bigger. Well, this is a pretty one. I would have liked this one in big, in a 20 by 20. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, I'll show you up close. First I'll do something else. I am going to swipe this up. Whoops. Well, that doesn't look pretty. I'll do that later when I stop the video. So I'm gonna get you guys down. Whoops. And there we go. Look at those cells. Those are the cells that you guys are used for me, right? Pretty, pretty cells. Look at them. Oh, I'm blown away by those cells. And I'll show you that one one more time. I did a splotch, that splotch, the one in the middle. Just threw it on. I'm gonna put the rest on when I uh, stop the uh, stop the video. Just want to show you this one. It's still beautiful. It's not much light over here, so it's get, getting grainy. This is the one we did before that. Still nice, but not that cool and then we have this one that one is pretty absolutely it is okay then I made a big 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 fat mess as you can see so I'm gonna clean everything up and we're gonna do Windsor and Newton and PVA and the same uh, treadmill lubricants Okay, let's do a countdown of what I did. It's um, four colors of uh, Royal Talents. I put in 20 to 30% of the PVCA glue. Or what was it? PV, PVAC, sorry. This is the one. There we go. That one. Book binding glue. So 20 to 30% of that. Then I mixed it, put a little bit of water in there to make it the good consistency. And I used a treadmill lubricant that is 100% silicone. That's what I used. And in two colors, I put a little bit of the spray in. That's right. Don't forget that. So just a spray silicone. Okay, guys, we're back in business. Let's see how uh, this works with the Windsor and Newton. I will be very, very, very curious to see how that works out. See you all in a bit. And uh, maybe uh, when I go uh, for a walk with my dog this afternoon, I'll take you guys along with me, show you the beautiful uh, parks and uh, walkways we have. Might do that. Okay, laters. Bye-bye.